On the News Channel 5 Network, this is On The Line. And happy Monday to you all. I'm Jessica Ralston. Thanks for joining us here on Open Line. We are pretty pumped on this Monday night. It's cold outside. We have some great, great advice for you this hour as we head into the holiday season. And a familiar face is with us here tonight, Diane Dameron, who's an author and a health coach and knows all good things to keep you in shape, eating well, and, and on the path to wellness, that's right? That's right. That's right. All right. Especially, well, thanks for being here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Getting so, ready for Thanksgiving. Yes. We're going to yeah. talk about Thanksgiving, uh, some do's and don'ts if you want to watch what you're taking in, and um, how to stay on track through the holidays, which yeah. I know is so hard. For just about everyone. Yeah, it can be, but it's you know it's a celebration, so you want to you know enjoy it. But yeah, there are you know definitely some some healthier measures to, to take for sure. There are. And what's yeah. the average people? People tend to put some weight on not only in the winter, but obviously over the holiday yeah. season. Yeah, absolutely. From Halloween to New Year's, most people will put on <laughs> anywhere from five to twelve pounds. Um, you know, because it's just it's this season of gluttony. Exactly. <laughs> it is. And, um, you know, you start with Halloween candy and go to Thanksgiving and Christmas, and there's all kinds of parties and everything but um, you know with Thanksgiving it's usually kind of the one big meal <laughs> is kind of how it starts but then you know you've got multiple families and you yes. know everybody's so, so many celebrations yeah. and at school yeah. and at work people are bringing yeah. stuff in constantly yeah. and you have to try to resist temptation That's right. and you know it's so funny when you say five to twelve pounds now for some people they might not think it's a lot but for like shorter smaller people like me five pounds makes a huge difference yeah. and actually the, it's been shown that those pounds that they gain they usually don't lose them back so that could be you know five to twelve Every, every year, year yeah. yeah so it's going to certainly yeah. add up and yeah. it's not always easy to lose five pounds sometimes it's the last five pounds that are hardest <laughs> so right. all right so we're going to talk about thanksgiving and uh, as we know a lot of people uh, a lot of people just wait for that day to go ahead and party on down with the food but you wanted to remind everyone it didn't start thanksgiving didn't no. start out with all the the things we eat today no not at all um the original thanksgiving has been almost 400 years ago and i, I wrote coming tomorrow on music city moms um i wrote a blog um it's a, a guest blog about kind of a th everybody does throwback Thursday um, mm -hmm. and my, my idea was throwback Thursday for you know the biggest Thursday of the year which is Thanksgiving and if you go back to the original 1621 Thanksgiving was actually a celebration of the harvest and you know what they they were reaping what they sowed and and it wasn't actually there were no white potatoes um, because they hadn't made it to, to the country yet and all the sh they didn't have sugar they were, right. because the sugar was already that came over on the Mayflower was already gone by that point um, so I think you know they kind of ate what gr beans and gourds and you know um, lots of things that we don't necessarily always associate with Thanksgiving anymore. So right, um, and, and they even had seafood because that was you know kind of where they were. They ate what what was on the land right. there. A so. lot healthier. Uh, yeah. yeah, they didn't have sweet potatoes with marshmallows That's and right. cinnamon sugar. That's right. And all that stuff yeah. uh, piled on top. So yeah. Um, all right, we'll go ahead. Because I was going to say, you know, I, I brought uh, just a few things. These are all the, the bad things. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we a lot of, so much of what we associate with um, now is from cans. Um, and, for example, this is just like a little s condensed soup right. that we put in usually. A with, lot of with casseroles the green, and yeah, stuff, that's right? Right, right, casseroles. And just one serving of, the, of this has a third of your sodium right. per day. And a lot of fat just in this one little condensed can. And then, you know, a lot of times uh, some families don't necessarily know that cranberries don't have the little ridges on the outside. You yes. know, you plop it from a can. <laughs> but cranberries are, are actually very good for you, you know, if you make them uh, them from scratch. And then, like you said, the, the marshmallows yeah. that usually yeah. are, are associated so much. And these are pretty much all this is is high fructose corn syrup, which right. is even worse than than sugar. Um, so I've got in in my Throwback Thursday my, the, from the original, I've got several recipes, um, and one is for green beans. Um, okay. Just making fresh green beans. Actually, I say fresh, but they're from frozen, and there's there's a photo of them mm. in um, lieu of the green bean casserole that's with right. all the with cream the creamy, of mushroom and that's right. soup and the French fried onions that's on right. top. That's right. Um, but I make them. I, I use. You can use fresh. I actually use frozen because it's easy. Um, okay. And they're you know it, just as long as 
the green beans just say green beans on the bag. Um, and then I make them with um, a little bit of pancetta or bacon. I like pancetta because it's a little mm -hmm. spicier. Um, and then some almonds on top. I'm a, I'm a texture girl, so yeah, I love good. to have texture. Um, now, and, see, I think sometimes, though, like you say pancetta or bacon, people think, oh, I shouldn't be having the bacon. So why can you put bacon It's just this? a little bit. Uh, just, you know, enough, uh, you know, just a little bit of bang for your buck. And, and again, it's a holiday. I don't necessarily say <laughs> eat four pieces of bacon every breakfast, you know, but <laughs> yes. it's a holiday, so you want to have a little bit of flavor. And, you know, when you're adding pancetta or bacon, things like that, you don't necessarily always have to add salt. Or, I mean, there's more salt in this little can than there is in bacon or pancetta. Wow. Um, so it's definitely, you know, a flavor. And, and I think, too, you know, a little bit of butter, a little bit of bacon, as long as it's in moderation, right. it, if it's going to help you eat something that's healthy for you, just a little bit is, is fine. And, and I think in that, that picture that it showed in that recipe, it had maybe two pieces and that would serve probably four to six people. So, oh, wow. you know, it's just okay. a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you just have just, a little tiny yeah, taste of it. Yeah. What would you do for the for the cranberry sauce then in lieu of the cranberry from the yeah. can? And I make, I actually do cranberries. I make cranberries year round. Oh, okay. Because um, you can buy them frozen now, but if you get them fresh and they're super cheap right now, um, if you go to the grocery store um, and that picture shows, I make them because I will put it on my sandwiches with chicken or turkey Ooh, sandwiches yes, yes. instead of like a lot of mayo or anything yeah. real fattening. Um, Those look good. But I just make them and, and you boil them down um, with a little bit of I use orange or cranberry zest and juice I don't even add any sugar to mine okay. and I use a little bit of spicy mustard um, to add to them and um, these are all this the green beans and the cranberries and then um, we'll talk about sweet potatoes in just a minute are all in my book as well oh, um, great. Oh, so okay. you can get those recipes um, but I, the cranberries, you know, it doesn't have to be so sugar loaded, and you're going to add it right. kind of. I think it adds kind of that mustardy, tart yeah. flavor that you're really looking for that kind of goes well with, with the turkey and everything else. So. I know, and honestly, I think a lot of people, you know, they always fight against this. I know, especially a lot of really old school people who want certain things a certain way. I, I know from experience, if you make it, you can make a healthier version, and I swear you will not miss the the other version. Yeah. And it's uh, because when I was when I was little, I didn't again, I didn't know cranberries didn't <laughs> didn't have the ridges. You yeah. know, like I was like what? But and and now you know, once you kind of try it, and it may take one or two times yeah. to to convince somebody it's just as good or better. But now that I make that, like I said, I made it a, a few years ago, and. I make it year round now, and same thing for sweet potatoes. I eat sweet potatoes year round, um, and again, the more colorful you eat, actually, sweet potatoes with the vitamin A, it can actually help um, your skin t stay a pretty color because um, oh. it carrots and yeah. all that because it kind of brightens your skin oh, from the inside out. Yeah, sweet potatoes are yeah. really good for you. Yeah. So, what were you going to tell us about sweet potatoes? The sweet potatoes. I make sweet potatoes again. I'm a texture girl, so I like to have a lot of texture in it, and instead of having a lot of just um, marshmallows, kind of chewy marshmallows. Yeah. I make them, I just bake sweet potatoes and then on top I make a walnut kind of crumble. So Ooh. I add a little bit of walnuts and just, you know, I use natural maple syrup in them and, you know, not a lot of added sugar. See, I think that sounds delicious. It is. And, you know, when you bake it like that and, and if you add um, a little bit of like cinnamon or anything on top, um, it just adds such a good mm -hmm. crunch to it and you don't have to add all that and you know it this keeps that that will keep in the refrigerator forever um, for like up to a week probably oh, but wow. when you add those marshmallows and it gets all gooey and yeah they don't they don't keep it oh well, my gosh so. that's a great great yeah. tip okay yeah. so you're getting us through um, Thanksgiving dinner here before we get to you have great things uh, just for in general to talk about for for <laughs> the holiday um, yeah. But before, like, let's go through a, a couple things on the meal, though, because, I mean, obviously everyone wants to sit, sit down and have their turkey, yeah. the gravy, the dressing. Do you have any tips for um, cutting down a little on, on all the calories associated with that? Yeah, that? I would definitely say pick your favorites, you know, especially if you go to a buffet with a big family, you're, you're going to have a lot of of options, things to pick from. Um, I would say pick your favorites, you know, go through, especially if it's a buffet style, Go through, look at uh, your options, look at what you've got um, to pick from. Usually there's going to be some things you're not quite sure about, and then there's always going to be something, I definitely want that. Or, and even look at desserts, you know, think about what you're going to have. If it's something you're not real crazy about or you, you don't necessarily want to eat, don't waste your calories, don't put it on your plate. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, pick what you want and know, you know, kind of, you know, get a game plan for what you're going to eat. Right. Um, because and right because it's there, it doesn't mean you have to eat every single thing on the buffet, right. which a that's lot right. of people do. They just go up and take one of everything 
everything. Yes. Well, of course you're going to run into trouble then. Yeah. And and again, and if let's say you think something is a broccoli casserole and you get it and it's a little questionable, you yeah. don't have to eat it just because it's on your plate. Yeah. You know, kind of you know just push it around. And because I I'm from you know my grandparents and you know I'm from that that older generation that always said you know you've got to eat this and the more you eat the better and, and that's fine. You know you don't don't pick a fight. Just say okay thanks. You know Aunt <laughs> May or whatever and just you know you don't have to eat it yeah. it's okay all right okay yeah. great well if you have any questions give us a call I'm sure actually you do have a lot of questions about uh, how to keep the weight off during the holidays and maybe have a little healthier holiday season this year that would be great for all of us give us a call here at 737 plus and we'll be back in just a minute